everybody is native. I think probably everybody who's watching this course is kind of familiar with native. It's the the ads, uh, uh, the ad units you see on almost every single news and kind of viral news website and any sort of content based uh, website and publisher has native ad units on them. Here is an example from uh, Taboola. This you would see this on a ton of different websites. MSN being an example. Uh, yeah. Uh, most websites on the internet have ad that have spaces that look like this. Uh, these are a bunch of ads. Uh, this is very typical of Taboola, a very white hat network. Um, a lot of uh, uh, clickbait style stuff and a lot of people running, uh, uh, yeah, clickbait type uh, campaigns. A lot of e-commerce can be popular on, on a network like Taboola. So what are the advantages of native? First of all, it's really, really big traffic source. Uh, they, they basically, everybody who uses the internet sees native ad units on a daily basis. Everybody. Uh, it is a really huge. All the major websites that are news or content based have uh, native units on them and they're looking to so you can buy traffic from them. Uh, so it, it's, I would say it's very comparable with Google and Facebook in just the size and huge quantity of the inventory. Uh, there's reasonable quality. Uh, not as good as Facebook or Google search, but definitely uh, much better than mobile display or pops, uh, especially Taboola Outbrain, which are the more kind of premium white hat network, uh, networks, ad networks. Uh, they have really solid quality. They have some really great publishers such as MSN or uh, CNN or just the big name brand publishers. Um, also, it can be pretty easy to work with um, for rev content and get content ads, some more native ad networks. They are affiliate friendly. Rev content is owned by ClickDealer, an affiliate network. So they know who you are, they know what you're doing, and they're happy to take your money. They're happy to work with you. You can get a rep. You can talk about openly what you're trying to do, what campaigns you want to run. And in many cases, you can run completely non cloaked uh, campaigns, and they, they're, they're, com compliance can be pretty lenient for those networks. So, what are the disadvantages of native? First of all, there's a lot of bots, especially on uh, Rev Content, Content Ad, and Uh This is true for every traffic network, but there's a ton, a ton of bots uh, that you have to deal with. The only way you really can discover this is by buying traffic and blocking the bad publishers that are heavy with the bots. Uh, it's just something you're going to have to deal with uh, as a part of the game, uh, and filtering out the bots is just what you're going to have to deal with. Pain in the butt, but it's part of the game. It requires the big thing for I think a lot of people is the amount of uh, the testing budget required. I would say I would say 5k minimum. Some people say maybe 3k. Definitely not less than 3k. 10k is better. 20k even better than that. Uh, as you'll see in the case study I do, um, I spend about eight grand over the course of three weeks, and I'm just like, that's just beginning. That's just beginning the testing. I'm just. And that's a very narrow targeting <laughs> to spend that much money and still just be in the testing phase. If you're running a display or pops campaign, really 500 bucks, $200 is what you need to test an offer. But native, uh, there's uh, so many publishers, there's so many traffic to test. Um, also, the, the offers you need to run have a higher payout, say $45, $30, $70. Just to test that much traffic requires a significant budget. Uh, so. Understand that going in. <laughs> You're going to need money. Uh, $1,000 is not uh, enough. Um, Native can have very strict compliance. I would say Taboola and Outbrain right now are maybe even more strict than Facebook or Google. Um, so you need to be super, super white hat. Really white hat <laughs> uh, is, is what I recommend. Just And really kind of bland targeting for those uh, networks. Rev, con rev content, content, MGID, much more open. Also, there's pretty limited targeting options in comparison to Google Search or Facebook. In, the, in comparison to Display or uh, Pops, the targeting is pretty good on native. Um, you can target by, so you have the usuals, device, country, but you can also target by, uh, by topic on Rev content, um, which would be like health and fitness or conservative news. And that's definitely useful to some degree, um, but much nothing like Facebook or Google. Okay, so basically I've already mentioned the, the, the top networks, Taboola, Outbrain, Rev Content, Content.